Welcome folks to Final Fantasy World of Division. Today we are gonna talk about MacLeod. MacLeod is a trick lancer with, with Viking and dual gunner sub jobs. So he's a free to play unit. Is uh, You can get him in the far plane. And let's see, no favorite, great. Now he's got very good agility, uh, decent attack and just average HPs and above average dexterity and normal uh, luck all right so let's take a look see at his abilities now luckily for him he doesn't have magic sub jobs so his stats are uh, well placed now I don't have everything unlocked here although this quadruple shot is very nice you should keep that in mind if you want to run him with missile uh, damage but for ice i don't have yet a missile team so i don't go for that now let's talk about the uh abilities now he's got in the, in the main job he's got binding javelin which is basically your uh, night oak uh, javelin claw whatever it is that lancers throw at enemies medium damage low resilient power uh and inflict immobilize so this is not very useful when it comes to PvE, but it may be interesting in PvP to uh, nullify the healer's abilities to heal. Obviously, you need to crit. Uh, for a, it, it's very AP expensive. It has good range, but it only deals medium damage. You then have Arrow Shield Melody, which raises missile attack resist. Oh, by the way, the team of MacLeod is or MacLeod, whatever the name, is to actually protect you from missile attacks. So you will... Oh god damn it, not again. So you will see many abilities that allow you to block missile attacks. So in this case, it blocks missile attacks, increase accuracy rate of allies within our own self, and significantly raise own pierce attack for 3 turns, which is a great buff. Fantastic, this is top tier. Barrier Break Lance destroy any barrier that reduces physical damage on target, then deals medium damage and piercing. This is very great because... Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> because almost every new character has some kind of barrier. Trick Trust. Small damage, lowers attack and agility for 3 turns and piercing. Now this will be best um, used against opponents that have just acted. That means that er their agility will decrease and they will regenerate their CT slowly. Uh, raise attack of allies within other than self, that's fine. And then a significantly lowers reactivation ability of targets within 3 range, then deals medium damage and remove haste. Very situational, not bad against target with reflex. <sighs> Okay, for sub jobs we have AP Break Lance, which um, actually steals some AP, actually reduces some APs of the enemy. It is medium damage and it's, um, it's piercing, meaning you get you get this target, this target, and this target. Cross Break deals medium damage to targets within either round self, and the lowers target critical evasion rate for three turns. As for sub jobs. You get the Viking subjob with with knee breaker, rebellious spirit, war cry, and launch. You also have the killer axe, which I don't have unlocked, and then you have the dual gunner, which I think it's the it's, it's a good solution. Smoke screen stun shot. This is a good AOE. Nice. You got split shot, which is also nice, and you've got um, rapid fire. You also have quadruple shot, so if you are lacking someone who can do that, you can go with MacLeod. As for um, support abilities, you have tune up, raises agility and the first defense piercing rate. You have the three classer grandeur, raised critical hit rate, defense piercing rate, and missile attack resistance. Those are great generic um, support jobs, but you can also get missile mastery. You can get Viking lore. A wavering javeliner, I don't like it. It's kinda stupid for me. 
<laughs> I need protection which gives you missile resistance. Okay, so the must the uh, reaction is counter trick. You have fighting spirit and you have a predictive counter predictive shot, which means you shoot before the enemy attacks you. The master ability is ice unit 10% max HP, immobilize resistance, own AP consumption, critical damage. Now we can go for dual gunner if we want to. Um, I'm gonna show you, it's not gonna make much of a difference though. Okay, so uh, let's go into the far plane. Let's play one of the stories, one of the um, brutal quests. Let's go with like, I don't know. Let's go and do revel acquisition quest because I did that yesterday, I think. So let's do the brutal quest. And let's try to find the ice team. Oh, MacLeod is already there. MacLeod, you are the star of the show, so you need the Holy Lands. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aranea, I'm sorry. You're just gonna go with the Elemental Spear. Very good. Okay. What kind of Thrustmaster are you... What, what are you running here? Shiva? What? No way. Okay, you're gonna take this one. Right, I didn't talk about the Esper. As for Esper, um, I find this one to be good because of the Ice Attack and the Pierce Attack. Now we need to give something to you, my man. Yeah, take Fenrir, sure, whatever. Okay, as for uh, Vision Cards, you need to give him something that allows him to deal much damage. Now, since we have already the piercing damage on Serges, if you didn't have Serges with per piercing damage, you should give MacLeod this card, Glaciela's card, or any card that, actually, I think I have something better that you can probably have. Okay, it's on you. Yeah, I don't think we have anything good enough. Yeah, okay, so, never mind. Never die mind. Okay, so we have... Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with this one. Just because I've set him on a... Um, double gunner sub job, so this missile attack up is gonna help me. Uh, we need Chocob on someone. I think... I think you can Chocob on Asha. Go for it. Come on, Nasha, don't be shy. Get your Chocobo. There you go. So, otherwise you would have to give him Surge's Vision card. Pierce attack and agility up. Or if you have any, any Vision card that you feel like giving him to him, giving it to him, that's fine. Why do you have this cup? Why do you have this thing? Clearly you need this thing. Actually, you can go with Saiga, to be honest. Yeah, there you go with Saiga. And you can use the bells. Just for the agility boost itself. So now we're going at 96 agility. Aranea is running at 93. And he's also got... Oh, 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 oh. Wait, 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 wait. I want to... Having, deal, having him deal damage. How can I do that? I think critical damage up would be great, so I'm just gonna do that. We have a tank, I'm not too worried about uh, about taking damage as I have Nasha with me, and I trust Nasha with my life. So let's go and see what happens. So uh, I gave him the vision card with missile attack because of the sub job, but also because of the 162 attack buff he gets. From that, I don't think you need this vision card. Why are you? Why? Why do you have this vision card? Okay, let's try to find something that actually increases my uh, damage. We have piercing. Okay, we have ice attack, critical damage, act, mage, mage up. No, this is a magic card. Although it boosts my yeah, sure, whatever. Let's give him that card. And I think we are pretty much ready to go. Alright. 
Now we're fighting ice enemies, so we don't have weaknesses. We should be fighting. Well, we have one one wind element. To battle. to battle. Okay, so we have a lot of buffs to cast here. I'm not gonna cast revitalize because I'm showcasing the unit. So this is not bad. Missile attack resistance, accuracy rate, and own pierce attack. Do I have anything else? I do have this thing that increases attack. I'm gonna go with arrow shield melody first. Generate some APs. She's gonna go with that. I'm gonna move right here. So I'm gonna just do aerial supremacy. My piercing attack went up. You're gonna go with... I don't know, I think illusion could be interesting. Some random evasion. Okay, I remember these guys are tanks. Yeah, you can show whatever you want, so just nobody cares. Okay, Nasha, I need you to cast Guardian Veil. That should take me to a place where I can do Taunting Blade. Okay, he's gonna do things. Yeah. Okay, so we have. Oh, we can. Ooh. <laughs> can I use. No, he's gonna use Binding Javelin. How about Horizontal? No, it was Split Shots. Okay, it doesn't work like that. Okay, cool. So Binding Javelin does 4.7k of damage. Or I can take it on the bird for 8.4k damage. That's nice. Or Barrier Break Lens. Okay, yeah, this is, this is cheaper, so I'm gonna go for that. 10k damage. What a powerhouse. This dude is a powerhouse. Fatal Bloom, sure. I don't know, uh, you can go here. No, do the equalizer. Okay, equalizer take out takes out one dude. And Surges can just buzz off and kill this thing. Thank you, Surges. Okay, please, pl no, 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 you need to stay in the same position. Okay, you're not allowed to do that. Don't blade, sure, Nasha. Knock yourself out. Right. Oh. Okay, it's your turn, McLeod. It's your turn. Okay, we have a binding javelin over there. That's crazy to me. Okay. Anything else? Neutralizing lens. That's nice. That's nice. And I'm not trying to do any fancy stuff with this guy. I'm just trying to play like I would play. Free of uh, any, 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 anything. Uh, do I want to kill this thing? Sure, I could use some APs. Thank you very much. I'll move this way, close to Nasha. Yeah, perhaps. Uh, we have a problem. I'm gonna need to take care of this bird. Yeah, look at the difference between damage from surges to... Uh okay. Haha! <laughs> predictive, that's the counter that triggered. That's predictive something. We also are out of... Yeah, we are out of... Um APs, so I need to generate some APs. I think I need to stay here and generate some APs. Uh, probably purify. Get a physical barrier going. I don't think these guys can inflict statuses. Right, so how about high wind? Good job, Aranea. Good job. Now I think I'm gonna, um, I think I'm gonna just buzz off with poor Laswell, which is level 99, by the way. Okay, that was not cool, not cool at all. Ooh, from behind, that's a lot of APs for surges. Okay, 
Uh, I think I'm gonna go here and get more APs. Thank you very much. Look at the damage. This guy is a powerhouse. You can pretty much figure out my recommendation, by the way. Uh, you can pretty much figure that out. Guardian wall, do it again. Uh, I'm gonna leave those two to... Um, to MacLeod. Wow, nice damage. Okay, we need Mirage, actually. Yeah. We need to go here and take out this little turtle. Okay, you can move there. I haven't used my... Um, yep, now I'm using it. 78% for 3.8k damage. Sure, but... But, I can go for an all-out assault. Right? Yeah, let's go for an all-out assault. You can strike with whatever you want. Okay, come on, Arenea. Do something. D -d -d Dragons, frost starts. Do it. Good job. Okay, I'm gonna drop more taunting blades. Because why not? Okay, turtle is moving. She stunned me? Really? I'm gonna go here and... No, go here. And drop Azure Sky on, on you. Fine. Alright, so we can now do some nice stuff. We got neutralizing lands. Oh my god. This is Nasha we are talking about. Yeah, she's got only 10% damage reduction, but still. Goodbye, Nasha. Yeah, that sucks. I know. Stay there. Just stay there. Are you gonna night talk the living shit out of this thing? Don't you have anything better to do? I don't know, like a blade bash. There you go, see? Dear AI, know your shit, please. Jump. Jump on this turtle and kill it. Alright, so next. Yeah, yeah, do whatever you want. I think we've got split shot, 5.1k. Or we can go horizontal shot for same. For 5.1. Uh, binding javelin, 5, trick trust, 4.2, neutralizing lands, 5k. Uh, barrier breaking lands, 5k. Why do you want to make me use this one that uses 34 AP when I can use, like, I don't know, Trick Trust? That's almost the same. I'm gonna use barrier breaking things. Okay, don't, don't do anything, please. Yeah, we're gonna end with the Dance Satsuken. There you go. So, what do I think? I think this unit is fantastic. I'm not saying this is Cyrel, le Cyrel level of power, but it, it, it's it's pretty it's pretty rad. This unit is definitely worth your uh, investment. Um, lots of agility, lots of damage options. You've got three damage types. All your sub jobs are offensive sub jobs, so you don't spread your stats on dumb shit like Mia, which has cleric for some reason. So, that's very, very, very powerful. Now, how do you get this character? So, yeah, first of all, I think he's absolutely worth leveling to uh, 120. Second of all, Far Plane Archive, go into unit, unlock it, play the quest. They're not that complicated. You can get the uh, Mind Spheres easily. All these characters, you should have... Well, well Edra is if, if, if you're looking for... Well, these two are quite are quite the thing, but these three characters are very good. Don't forget, you can also get from the story department, you can also get the ancient tomb of Leonis to get Silma. Alright, who is this character? We've never seen this character. 
I think sometimes I think Gumi forgets there are characters they forget about them. It's just that good. All right. Ah, she's scary. So yeah, that's how you get him. That's how you yeah. That I totally recommend this character. And um, also, if you are a new player, if you somehow manage to uh, get him, even to level 99, you don't need to get into 120 if you're a new player. You can get a quadruple shot easy, and uh, that will be your chain uh, mission objective chainer thing. You know those mission objective where you need to make set amount of chains. You get it for free. Okay, no need to worry about finding like Lucia or any other shit. You get him. It's there. As for me, I'm going to play to get some gills because I'm running thinly low. So guild chamber, there you go, professional. I'm gonna go with my. I'm gonna go with my water team. And I'm gonna go with the background repeat. And I will see you when uh, the next character is ready, which should be. I I was thinking of King Curie, but I don't have enough uh, prism ice prism. So we'll see when I will be able to make a uh, another character reviews. Like these character reviews, keep in mind I'm a free-to-play player. I don't believe in gacha, in spending money in gachas. I think it's um, I could spend my money in something else, um, which is far more interesting than gacha, virtual currency. So I'm a free-to-play player. I do not make this game my line of work or my life. So I don't tend to ra make raids like 300 points in raid. I don't spend time with macros. I just play the game whenever I feel like playing the game. So this is not a job. Don't expect me to go out of my way to get you some unit reviews quicker and faster because that's not gonna happen. I do them when I have the materials. I will gladly do them because I think that mega rare units, super rare units and other units just have the uh, a good chance of being good like sometimes I've proven that with Naya's and surges they're very good uh, obviously they're not on meta level but I do that for fun okay so keep that in mind if you don't see videos it's not like I've stopped making them it's just I don't have the resources and I'm not going to work eight hours a day to get them now with background repeats granted I can set them to repeat whatever I want but that's uh, that's about it. So, again, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.